What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend. And matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you? But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... <laughs> I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! This child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. I'm here, and wherever you go, I will follow.
Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Looks tight, but I can get through. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. There's something up ahead. What's that? A dead person. There's something shiny there. Oh! <laughs> 
lights. Everywhere. How did we do this? Metal door. Closed. Maybe this device I found can help. How do I get it open? More light. Connected to the door somehow. Changed color. The door changed color too.
Why did they die here? What happened to them? I mean, seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go... Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Should have gone. Well. And pray for us, sinners. Now, and at the hour of our death, I mean, uh, death, I'm sorry, it's been a while. And, well, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt.
enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch, and I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. Blech. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Up there. He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow.
There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them all? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. There's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Stay low on the grass, and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. The Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Hit! Keep firing! Keep firing! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. 
What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy. Quick. stories. I'm not. I can sneak through. You will not. Do this slowly and quiet. Can't let them see me. See their path. Almost there. There he is.
So, it is no plaything. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. B bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. That boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. My mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Sorry to spoil your fun. Stocking up. <sighs> he said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace, and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. <sighs> and I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. If he thinks I'm gonna abandon him, he's wrong.
The Embrace. My whole life, I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Mother's heart. Two more days, then I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there. Your alert. Just go about your business. Oh. 